Hello everybody, it's Heath the Blogger Guy here. It is December 12th. Time once again for another reading. If this is your first time to my channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell. And that will notify you anytime I put out any kind of new content. If you're liking what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share this video because it will definitely get it out to more eyes. So, tonight's book is Merry Christmas, Curious George. Now, I don't know a kid that doesn't like Curious George. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is George. He lives with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George was visiting a Christmas tree farm. You can help me pick out the perfect tree for our home, his, he, his friend told him. Keep close to me while we look. George promised to be good, but little monkeys sometimes forget. <laughs> the Christmas tree farm had more trees than George had ever seen. He found very, a very small one right away. But then another caught his eye. And then one more, and then another. George was curious. How many Christmas trees could there be? George could not resist climbing up the tallest tree to get a better view. He looked for the man with the yellow hat but his friend was nowhere in sight. Two men tromped into the clearing. There's our tree, one man told the other. The man cut down the tree and loaded it onto the, a truck. Along with George. George held on tight. He saw the man with the yellow hat as the truck drove away. But the truck was going too fast. George could not jump off. He's, he was scared, but still a little curious. Soon the truck stopped in front of a hospital. George peeked out from the branches as the man carried the tree inside. The hospital was a busy place. George jumped out of the tree. There were lots here to see and do. He looked at some interesting pictures. He found a jacket and tried it on. He played on a trampoline. He even went for a ride on a speedy little cart. What fun! George spotted something very interesting. His tree. George knew that Christmas tree were supposed to have tinsel and twinkling lights and shiny ornaments, but this tree was empty. George thought and thought, and then he had an idea. Next, George noticed a pile of gifts in the corner of the room. The gifts looked pretty, but George was curious. Could he make them look even prettier? This red bow will look much better on this green box. And this name tag might look nicer on a different package. Two. A nurse arrived, and what did she see? A monkey. He was making a big mess. A group of children crowded around the nurse. They were all patients at the hospital. 
Even though it was almost Christmas, the children were not smiling or looking happy. Come along, the nurse said, picking George up. I'd better get you out of here before you can ruin anything else. A girl with a cast stared at George's tree. Suddenly, she giggled. Look, said, she said, that's my x-ray. A boy laughed. And there's the balloon from my room. All the children started chatting and laughing as they looked at George's funny decorations. Can't he stay for the party? The boy, a boy asked the nurse. We don't mind about the gifts. It will be fun to sort them out. Please let him stay. Please, the other children climbed in, chimed in. When she saw how happy the children looked, the nurse looked happier too. I suppose he can stay, if he promises to help fix the tree. George was too was happy to help. The children helped too. Some of them returned George's decorations while others handed George the real ornaments. He scampered up and down, stringing lights and hanging tinsel. Being a monkey, he was good at this sort of thing. He was also good at making the children laugh. <clears throat> when the tree was finished, George helped open the gifts. He was having so, such a good time, he had completely forgot he was lost. Until the man with the yellow hat hurried into the room. There you are, George, he cried. I followed the truck all the way here. George was very happy to be reunited with his friend. The nurse invited them both to stay for milk and cookies. Ho, ho, ho. Did someone mention milk and cookies? A man in a red suit walked into the room. His belly jiggled. He was holding a beautiful golden star. George's eyes widened. It was Santa Claus. Who would like to put the star on top of the tree, Santa asked. George, the children cried at once. Let George do it. George scampered up the tree. One last time, he put the golden star in place carefully. Merry Christmas, curious George. And that is tonight's story. I hope everybody enjoyed. Like I said, I don't know a kid who does not like Curious George. Or is a Curious George at heart. So until we see each other again, bye-bye.